I don't know. The visualization, it, it makes me just like feel good. You know what I mean? It's almost like this safety net where like, to be happy, this is for me personally, to be happy, I feel like I actually need to be a black belt world champion to be happy. <laughs> so it's like, so it's like, so it's like, but I know, right? I know I don't have full control of the external world. You know what I mean? I know I don't have full control, but I should be able to have full control of my internal happiness, right? So what I've gone and done is every day I'm winning the world championship in my mind. So I don't really care what happens outside. This all sounds like a, like a nut job kind of thing, right? But I, don't, I really don't care what happens outside because in my head, I swear to God, it literally feels like I'm winning the world championship every day. You know what I mean? And then when you kind of see yourself as a black belt world champion, you kind of just start like taking the same actions every day. You know what I mean? So like, if you see yourself in that light, you're just kind of being that thing like every day. So you're training more, you're, you're eating right, you're, you you just things are just falling into place, you know. So I don't I'm not sure how it works, but it works, you know. And um, it's it's kind of like all these mental kind of things I'm I'm kind of doing, which is like it's I just I'm happy, you know what I mean? It makes yeah. me I'm happy. So I'm just gonna keep doing it. <laughs> just and keep yeah. doing that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So be that happy. seems like something pretty unusual for a coach to do, but something pretty amazing though as well like maybe yeah. I, th I think a lot of jujitsu athletes honestly probably need that more than they think they do um somebody to just keep in touch with how their body's feeling and make sure that they're not overtrained because it's so easy when you're going that hard all the time to overtrain 100 percent, yeah if there's a fine line you know what i mean because you don't want to like not train too much and like kind of get lazy but you also don't want to like kill yourself you have to be kind of you have to be in tune with your body good intuition about it mm. so what about diet are you strict with your diet do you feel like that's something that affects you a lot uh, I feel like I have a bad relationship with food that's how I feel um, I obviously do have to diet to like lose weight for the tournaments um, but it's always like either two extremes either I'm eating like ultra healthy or like I'm causing like self-harm there's never like an in-between kind of an in-between kind of stage for me um, so as opposed to diet sometimes I'm amazing and sometimes I hate myself that's the best answer I can give you for that oh. um, but it, no it's something I think is like super important obviously like you can't you can't 21. skip out just yeah. now yeah, yeah new yeah. black belt at 21 yeah and yeah, how long crazy, have you been right? training I started training when I was when I was 15 when I was 15 Wow. Back in Australia, only six years. Yeah, but it was it was weird because like I trained for one month, and then I was like, I'm just gonna do jiu-jitsu forever. And like I left school, dropped out of school, just started training all day jiu-jitsu. And I just I literally made the decision like that. You know what I mean? And obviously everyone around me was like, What are you doing with your life? <laughs> you know? Um, but uh, I was just like, You'll see. It'll pay off. Just watch. It all seems like really simple to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. It was just like, if you just put all your energy, if you just do something all day, mm. you're just going to like be the best at it. Like if you put the most energy in it, you're going to get the most energy back out. You know what I mean? And I love the simplicity of that. And to be honest, I was doing like terribly in school anyway. They told me I had to like repeat and like that was basically getting kicked out so I didn't really have any other options so it sounds more hardcore than it actually is but um yeah yeah I started training I was 15 okay so yeah almost yeah about almost seven years almost seven years at, at uh, the end of midway through this year seven years of training wow that's a pretty quick rise though yeah I mean I've had I've, I've been in the right place at the right time you know what I mean oh I got myself over here, you know what I mean? I got a job delivering furniture. I knew I needed good guidance to get to like get to where I wanted to be in um, in a short amount of time. So two years in, I was already at Cabrinhas, you know what I mean? So I, I had a, I was delivering furniture back in Australia. I was saving up and I, I was coming here. And then um, when I saw Unity was opening, I, I, I had to come here just because I'd always wanted to live in New York like since I was a little kid. I, did, I lived here until I was three years old, but that's a, that's a story for another time. Um, uh, 
yeah, I just knew I needed to get here. I knew I needed to train with these guys. I don't know why. I just knew I needed to be here. And 